to my youtube channel i'm pindi if you're new to my channel please make sure that you subscribe and thank you guys for 400 subscribers so today i'm just gonna do a mini video just so you guys can get to know me a little bit um better and then we can take it from there i have mentioned this in a lot of my videos and a lot of people that know me or people who know me i'm not sure if i'm known by a lot of people but the people that know me <laughs> know that i am an introvert so growing up my older sister has always been the extrovert of the family or in the family and i've always been the introvert me and my little sister we are introverts my little sister is a little bit crazy but <laughs> she's an introvert i also am an introvert and for quite a um for quite a while while growing up i couldn't understand why i was the way i was and why my sister was the way she was because like everyone liked her because she was out there she was extroverted she was um able to communicate with people she was able to like hold a conversation she was able to make friends easily she was able to have like a bunch of friends and she was able to maintain her friendships whereas me on the other side i was like mm, no i don't want to have friends i, I think i only had one friend um, especially in my high school days, I had one friend throughout, I think, one or two friends, just a couple of friends, and I was okay with it. I didn't have the desire to have a lot of friends, I didn't have the desire to communicate with people, and at some point in time, I thought, no man, maybe there's something wrong with me, because growing up, I didn't know the term introvert, I didn't know it, I didn't know it existed, I didn't know that there are people that are introverts until now that i'm grown up and i am able to understand the person that i am and i'm like oh wait a minute i'm an introvert and i like the way i am but back then i thought there was something wrong with me because i wasn't like my sister so i'm just i'm just gonna put a video of how my sister is like so you guys can see what i'm talking about hey hello good morning hello Hi. Sanu Vernon. Good morning. We are there. Good morning. Ooh. <laughs> Good morning. Ooh. So yeah, she's that kind of a person and I'm the total opposite. So in this video, I have compiled 10 signs that shows or proves that you are an introvert if you didn't know maybe you can learn from this video unlike myself um the person that i was for the longest time um and didn't know that i was an introvert i thought there was something wrong with me um i didn't know that it was okay to be the kind of a person the kind of person that i am hmm? so 10 signs that shows and proves that you are an introvert i'm sure there's pretty much a lot of signs that shows and proves that you're an introvert but these ones i can relate to like the most so sign number one um you have a small group of friends so this one i've already touched on it a little bit so like i explained previously or a few seconds ago that in high school or in my you know younger years or earlier years I used to have only like one or two friends or three friends maximum and I used to enjoy that and at some point in time I used to just sit and think and I'm like my sister has a lot of friends and I only have like two or three friends um is there something wrong with me like no but I I didn't have the desire to have like a group of friends like 10 plus friends 15 plus friends if you have the desire to have like a small circle of friends there is nothing wrong with you you are an introvert and that's okay and i think and i feel like at this point in time in this generation that we are living in most of the time especially girl groups if there is a lot of people a lot of friends in one group number one they talk bad behind each other's back there's always drama. There's always drama, 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 drama. This one doesn't like that one. That one is fighting with that one and that one is dating this one's boyfriend and this one does not know. There's just like a lot of things going on. I've tried to have like um, multiple friends, like to, to just add on the, the, the number of friends that I have and it just didn't work out. Maybe because I am an introvert, but also at the same time, 
I just couldn't keep up with a lot of people at the same time. The second sign that you're an introvert is when you cannot do small talk. Like, I, for the life of me, cannot do small talks. Like, I, I don't know. What, what are we going to talk about? Like, do we talk about the, the weather? Do we talk about coronavirus? Do you, what, what do we talk about? I cannot do small talk. You're like, no, I can't. Like, I'll do anything and everything to get out of any small talk. Like, no, please, no. Hi, how are you? I'm good. That's fine. I'm good with that. I'm gonna dash. But to just stand there and be like, oh, how's your family? Oh, how how's the weather? Like, how have you, like, it drains the life out of me. Like, I cannot. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. And that doesn't mean that I'm a bad person. I'm not. I just cannot do small talks. I can't. I cannot do it. I can't. And yeah, that's another sign that proves that you are an introvert. You cannot do small talks. I've tried it multiple times. I can't. I just end up being weird at the end of the day. I cannot do it. So the third sign that proves or shows that you're an introvert is you don't like being the center of attention. That is me. Like literally, I, I prefer going to places with my sister because she is an extrovert or my husband because they are extroverted so while they engage with people and talking to people I'll be hiding behind them and they can be the center of attention and I'll just hide in the background that's what I want I don't want people looking at me <laughs> I don't want people talking to me I don't like people like just you know I, I, I don't like being the center of attention and I think most introverts don't like being the center of attention we like being in the background we like being at the back seat we like hiding so when other people are busy talking and the rest of the, the other people are listening or looking at this person who just be in the background like yep that's what we prefer and that's okay it doesn't make us a bad person. The, the fact that I said I don't like talking to people, it doesn't make me a bad person. I just don't feel comfortable talking to people personally. You get what I mean? I, I don't. I don't feel comfortable. No. I'd rather be in the background. Let everybody else talk. And I'll just be here. Okay. So the fourth sign that shows that you're an introvert is you can be quiet but at the same time having fun let me explain like for example i can go to a party and i'll be sitting there by myself and i'll be just like that does not mean that i'm bored it doesn't mean that i'm annoyed it does not mean that i am irritated it doesn't mean that like i want to go home or anything like that maybe sometimes i might want to be going home but it doesn't mean that i'll be having the best time not talking to anyone not engaging with people not dancing not twerking not doing any of that i'll just be like sitting like that having the best time of my life and i feel like a lot of people misinterpreted to say oh my god are you okay is she okay she's so quiet it happens to me a lot of times where i'll be like um with other people but i'll be quiet but i'll be like having the best time and people will be coming to me and saying are you okay is everything okay you look so sad like are you okay and i'll be fine and minding my own business and having fun but yeah most introverts do have that trade we just tend to keep quiet, but it doesn't mean that we are miserable. And that's okay. So now the fifth sign that shows that you are an introvert is usually when you are in a group of uh, people or you are amongst people, right? Okay, let me, let me make this about me. Usually when I'm around people, because I am... Okay, because I prefer to be quiet when I am in a group of people or with a group of people, I tend to notice quite a lot of things. 
that a lot of people don't notice because they are busy ch chatting to other people they are busy talking to other people and they don't see what i see introverts are very 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 observant so i'm very observant i think i like that i like observing because i can see stuff that other people don't see i think i once told my friend this um because she's a extrovert as well i told her i was like we i see a lot of things when i'm quiet and i prefer to be quiet because there's a lot of things that you guys miss when you're talking to other people you miss a lot of things but yeah you yeah we like to observe a lot so another sign that shows that you're an introvert is you don't like group works like when i was still in school i used to hate group assignments group whatever group projects hated it hated it hated it and at that time, my excuse was, honestly, when you're doing group works, there'll be that one person who wouldn't want to do the work or wouldn't want to contribute or they will drag their feet and everyone has to do the work for them and so forth. So I used to hate that because I'm like, this is not fair. So what I used to do when I was still in primary and high school, if we had a group work or project assignment, whatever, I would do everything myself and then just write their names there and it will be our max all of us I used to do that quite a lot some most of the time not all of the time but most of the time I prefer to just do everything myself and then write their names and it's a group work because I didn't want to be um, what's this I don't want to be stressing and pushing people like guys we have to work as a team we have to do this as a group because you can't force people if if they don't want to do the work you can't force them so yeah but then now growing up I, I understand now fully that okay maybe one of the reasons why I didn't like doing group works was because it's part of my personality trait I'm an introvert I just don't like works so yeah another sign that shows that you're an introvert is you don't like going to parties oh my god that is our biggest not fear but um pet peeve that is our biggest pet peeve going to parties or gatherings be it parties be it funerals be it any event that is going to have a lot of people in it especially people that you don't know hey it becomes an issue it becomes a problem like we have to encourage ourselves in the lord to say you know what i'm going to this event and it's going to last for one two three hours we should be okay it should be okay because remember um because there's a lot of people there and a lot of new people that we don't know that we have never met um so we have to do what small talks and uh, that is an issue <laughs> what are what are we going to talk about what am i what am i supposed to talk to this person about like i don't know this person we've never met we have nothing to talk about like i can't say how's your mother i don't know your mom i can't say um, how's work? I don't I don't know anything about you. So what am I supposed to talk to you about? You know, so we try to avoid that Gatherings events we avoid that as much as possible. My husband already knows like if I have to go somewhere where there's a lot of people yay, It becomes an issue, but when I'm with him I think it's a little bit better because he'll do the talking and then I'll just be there like Hi And then he'll continue with the conversation and that makes it a little bit better but if i have to go by myself no ma'am no sir nope i'm not going mm -mm. no no i'm not going <laughs> no and it doesn't mean that i hate people i don't hate people i just cannot be around a large group of people at the same time it's draining so yeah um another sign that shows that you're an introvert is you prefer to write your thoughts down instead of speaking them out loud i think ever since i've met my husband he's very confrontational he doesn't play like that like if you had stepped on his feet he will let you know he will let you know right then then so for me i prefer to like write my thoughts down how I, how how i'm feeling and stuff like that but then now if someone stepped on my toes honey 
we're gonna have that talk we're, we're gonna talk we're gonna talk not in a bad way but now i i feel like i am able to express to people how i am feeling instead of writing my thoughts down and my feelings down but i feel like um this is still an issue for most introverts instead of speaking up for themselves they tend to just shy away and write their feelings down they cannot open up to people um about their feelings and stuff another sign that shows that you are um, an introvert is that people's company drains you like oh my god if i have to be around um a lot of people if i have to be with a group of people um especially people that are not my friends hey when i come back home like i feel so drained i feel like i'll have to recharge for a month straight after that because i'm like oh my gosh it takes the energy out of me it drains the life out of me that's why most of the time i prefer to stay at home with my husband um and a few friends that i have and look on the, the friends it's not all the time that we hang out it's just only here and there so but most of the time i prefer to be um alone or with my husband and that's it for me that's a good day i think a good day for me would be when i didn't go out the door when i didn't meet anyone when i'm just in the house by myself or with my husband that's a that's a good day for me and i think a lot of introverts can relate to this one we prefer being by, by ourselves or with our families spouses friends just a couple of friends this is just a mini video about um signs that shows or proves that one is an introvert and um hopefully i wasn't all over the place hopefully you guys understood what i wanted to say or what i was trying to say because i felt like i was just all over the place but yeah there are a lot of people that are introverts and it's okay we are not weirdos we are not um we don't need um deliverance from anything we are fine i enjoy myself the way i am i love myself the way i am i don't like being in crowded spaces i don't like doing small talks i don't like going to gatherings i don't like being the center of attention i don't like all these kind of things i just want to be by myself and my family and a couple of my friends that's it and that's okay it doesn't make me like this snobby person what the bonang because like pindi doesn't hang out with people pindi doesn't talk to people pindi doesn't do this no we're not like that if anything i think i'm the sweetest person you'll ever meet okay and um that's the end of the video uh, make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed uh make sure that you like this video share it comment in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in the next video Stay blessed.